Fire away. How hard was the take to watch? Yeah, it was frustrating to watch, you know, because there's so much anticipation around week one. And, uh, you know, to not take advantage of some of the opportunities we had on offense and special teams was just frustrating. What's a day like today, Zach, for you and Brian? Can you discuss what you guys could not get accomplished on offense? Well, there, there was, again, a lot of factors that played into it. Um, we make the corrections on the things that we can control offensively and then move on to Baltimore. So I think it's one you don't want to dwell too much on. Um, pretty clear we weren't good enough on third down. You know, we were about a yard short on several drives there in the first quarter, two of the three drives in the first quarter. And so, you know, sometimes it's it's the inches like that that set you back from gaining some true momentum in the first half. And that's what this game was about. On the third and manageable, really, third and shorts, so you know, like seven of them and only got one. Yeah. I mean, was there something that was a, a common thread in some of those that, you, you, that just wasn't right for you guys yesterday? Well, the, the very first third and one, um, you know, we had a quick game throw in the rain, and it was it was a little just sloppy. You know, the throw and the catch was just tough. Um, we had another third and one where we ran it, you know, and just didn't quite get off quick enough and, and able to sustain that first down. So those are two that come to mind there in the first half. Um, you know, big picture, big picture, there's a lot of confidence in our room that we're going to be just fine. You know, it's it's first game. We won't make too much out of it. Um, wish we'd had more success. Should have had more success, but we didn't. And you got to give credit to Cleveland. They came out ready to play. Um, they had a great plan. Their players executed it. And, you know, they deserve that week one win. Yeah, that's an area, those, those, third, those third and shorts, those third and mandrels, I mean, that was your bread and butter last year. I mean, you guys won the yeah. best in the league. So is, I, is there an extra frustration in, like, and we're, we're losing in spots that, we, you know, we have traditionally been really good yeah, you know, we, we just – the passing game was difficult yesterday. And, um, you know, you look at one of the completions he made to TB, you, you know, you're basically shot putting the football to him. And they had the same issues on their end. And so that's a that's something we take great pride in is the passing game and being able to execute and getting a leg up on people. And yesterday was just a real challenge for us. And that's, that's all it was. And so we just – we'll make the corrections and we'll move on. On those third downs, what, what did you see from Travion and Chris? Did you like what you saw in pass pro? I thought they did a good job. I thought the backs played well yesterday. I thought they, they gave us enough in protection. Um, I thought Joe Mixon ran the football really hard. I thought he had a really good game for us, gave us what we needed. Um, so I, I thought those guys did a good job executing in, in all the phases that we need them to in terms of offense. The deep balls to team one-on-one matchups, why didn't those work yesterday the same way they usually do? The deep, the the deep throws to team. Yeah, I can think of one. Um, yeah, you know, was, there was one on an inside fade in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, that's the one that stands out in my mind. And, you know, some of those 50-50 balls, it was just, you know, some of them were difficult for us yesterday. How did you come out injury-wise, Zach? Any concerns out of that game? Concerns right now, no. You know, we'll uh, we'll continue to assess. But um, I, I think there's a good chance that, that most of our team is ready to go. If not, maybe practice on Wednesday. We'll find out some more a little bit today. But... Um, be ready to go later in the week. How was the, uh, oh, sorry. How was the pass protection overall I thought, in terms of yeah. communication and all that? Again, I think, um, you know, the, the, there were some things that we can clean up internally, um, just some subtle communication things. Um, I thought the on-the-sideline communication was really good, cleaning up some of the protections as we went and had to make some adjustments. I thought what we got enough to win the game and protection wise, obviously it's a tough front. They present some challenges. There's some unknowns about some looks you're going to get in week one. Um, I was encouraged by what I saw from those guys and feel like we can continue to build on that and uh, feel good about good about the protection moving forward. Yesterday, Ted Carrison, the communication was poor. Why do you think it was poor? Well, there, there's, again, there, there's some things early on um, that we were able to clean up as we went. And so, um, you know, I, I won't get too in depth in it, but but I felt encouraged as the game went that that we were on the same page and had made the right adjustments, and that's that's part of playing week one football. You got to be able to do that as you move on. Good. There was so much made about the glove bro going back and forth with the glove. He's obviously played in games, whether it be snow and rain. Yeah, snow and rain are two totally different things. But um, was, what was it so much with the weather climate yesterday that was tricking 
him up and his ability to grip the ball? What was it about the, the rain? Yesterday? I mean, the rain. It was that was probably the biggest rain game I've ever I've been a part of in ten years. You know, and and I can't speak for them. You know, but you you saw in the kicking game. Um, you know, and so sometimes the ball just gets away from you. you can't get a great grip on it. Um, there's a battle of okay, let's get some quick game. That's even harder because you got to grab it quicker and you don't get a grip. And um, so then you're trying to play action and maybe get a better grip and push it down the field. Well, then they got a pretty good rush. You know, they're putting five D linemen in the game and creating problems that way. So, um, you know, there, there was just things you have to you have to continue to balance. I thought they did a great job handling it. Cleveland did, and uh, there's some things that we can certainly do better. It was raining down on the. I mean, I, maybe you were inside, but it was raining. <laughs> it was raining. When you're watching the tape of the game that had such bad weather, how does that change or make it more difficult to assess? It? You you don't overstate a lot of the things that happen. There's so many things that that we're confident in ourselves to move forward from. Um, there are certainly things that we could have done better. That you you take the elements out of it, you take the, the other team out of it. There are some things that usually we are much better at. Um, that, that we weren't good enough on, some phases of offense in particular. It, feel, feel really strong that, that those are things that we've cleaned up today and will be much better moving forward. With the injuries, and you said you thought most of the guys would be able to go Wednesday, does that include Osai, or are you just talking about guys that played yesterday? Yeah, Osai, I mean, he really is day-to-day -day right now, and so we'll, we'll see where he's at. Um, I don't want to make any guesses on where he'll be on Wednesday, but um, he had a really good week last week. How did you think Dax and Nick played, maybe especially in tandem? Yeah, I, I think the defense as a whole, I'll speak to them. Um, I thought the defense as a whole certainly gave us enough. We, we didn't do anything to take the pressure off of them. And, you know, really held up some, some bad field possession situations. If you look at the field possession, the second quarter, drive starts, the second quarter in particular, completely lopsided. And they continued to make stop after stop, gave up three points there for a long time. Um, and then obviously I had the one right before the half. But Gave us what we needed. We just weren't able to take the pressure off of them. Very reminiscent of the Halloween game last year. Exact same situation, really, if you want to look at it that way. Those are something we'll assess next year. I thought our defense did a good job against the run for the most part. There's there's a couple things again we can clean up. Um, that but but again I, I thought enough. One, one thing you can't allow them to do is play with the lead, get 40 rushes, um, stick to their identity. You know, and so you, you got to get a team like that out of that. And we we didn't do anything to do that. Take our pressure off the defense. With you guys, like early really conversations in game, obviously you're a pass first team. First, it's raining. You had a couple nice rushing moments. How are you balancing run versus pass? Kind of. Well, it was certainly run first. You know, I think 11 of our first 18 normal down plays were runs, two screens, quick game. You know, so we, we were trying to do that stuff to take the pressure off the pass game. Third downs is third down. Um, we tried to balance that as, as we managed that. Um, and again, you know, we're down 10 to nothing. And then um, still try to be patient with the run game. We had a really good drive where I think we leaned on four runs in a row. And O-line and, and Mixon and tight ends did a great job there on that drive. Um, so again, we, we tried to do different things and just, just didn't find a great rhythm rhythm yesterday and that was that was the tough part. Cheeto, Cheeto, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Cheeto come through okay and, and how did you like DJ? Yeah, to my eye, uh, Cheeto came through uh, fine. You know, obviously we'll we'll see with some of these guys today what kind of soreness they got. Um, thought DJ played well in his first game. You had a slew of guys on teams making their debuts. Uh, Robin's a battle. Yeah, I, I think in all the areas there's going to be some cleans we got to clean up. Um, I didn't think the moment was too big for any of those young guys. That's that's step one, and that's that's encouraging. How, how frustrating was making the, the field position battle for most of the first time? It seems like y'all have pinned back. Kind of mm -hmm. how, how big of a difference is that? How, how much of an obstacle is that, especially when the weather is way it is? Yeah, it, that's a big deal in this division. It's a big deal when you combine that with the weather and on the road because your cadence is an issue. 
So there's a lot of factors working against you when you're in a road game like that. Um, and so that's where the kicking game's got to make a big step there. And that's where the offense, you know, you don't necessarily have to score every time, but you do need to get some first downs. And so that's that's where just coming up a yard short on on the second drive and the third drive um, is a is a huge deal. You know, just gaining one more first down and being able to get that punt ten yards further um, is something that can make a big difference. And you know, we certainly on offense didn't do anything to help ourselves there. With Brad Robbins specifically, not the kind of debut he would like to have, do you, do you attribute that maybe more to the nerves of a, of a debut or the weather? Man, I mean, it's you know. You don't want to sit here and make excuses. That's a that's a tough situation. First game, um, obviously some things that, that they'll talk through in the special teams room, and um, you know, but it's it's a uh, it's a tough one, and, and things that we'll need to improve on. Um, but again, just just watching snaps, catches, both sides of the ball for those for those guys and our guys is a challenging situation. A lot about the grip on the ball in the rain, yep. Joe, but with his calf, you guys not seeing him out there in the game before that could be an effect there, like just the grass being wet. Were you feeling any limitations or anything you were concerned about uh, in play calling with him, but having that injury and a wet field and everything else? There, there, there were things we factored in going into the game, you know, and uh, just didn't play well enough, didn't give ourselves enough opportunities to get into a good rhythm and, and do some of the things that could have could have helped us more. Um, so that was that was challenging. Joe said yesterday. Yeah, our, our guys are in a great place, you know, and we, we've played enough games now as a team together to understand what kind of team we have and to see that even on film like this yesterday um, and still be encouraged, still be motivated to move on and play in front of a great home crowd. And, and one thing I will say that I will continue echo this week is our home field is such an advantage, especially early in the season with, with new players on a team and new communication. Um, that that's what we're looking really forward to is playing in front of our home crowd and and getting those advantages with the noise and the way that our fans always turn up, you know, and and uh, support us that way. That's going to be a that's going to be a great advantage that we can have this Sunday at one. Exactly. Thank you. Dave Lapham here, and every day I am grateful for my experience to have played professional football. As a player, I realize self motivation leadership and appreciating your teammates are key at first star logistics you can use those same attributes to create the life you want for you and your family build your future by working hard like i did you'll see results both on and off the field call first star logistics today and be part of our winning team